Hey everyone, my name is Nathan Payne. Welcome back to another episode of Blotion Crypto. So today I'm going to go over how to get the Mavia token onto the base network. We know that base is Mavia's layer two. And currently most of us who've been purchasing or even got airdrop Mavia, it's all on Ethereum. So I want to lead you guys through this step by step so you have a proper and full understanding how to get your Mavia token onto base. So let's jump right in. I want to play. So the first thing you're going to need to do is add the base network to your MetaMask. Now I'm going to have all these links at the pinned comment below so you guys can just follow through. But essentially, you're going to open up your MetaMask. You're going to hit the main network tab. You're going to hit add network. When you come in here, you do need to click add network manually. You're going to get all of this information that needs to be filled in. You simply copy and paste it from the information over here. Then you'll be able to save it. Once that's done in your MetaMask, you're gonna be able to see the base knit main net as one of the available choices. So that's kind of the first thing. Get the base main net in your MetaMask because you are gonna to have to send your Mavia token from the exchange that you have it on into a MetaMask net, uh, wallet because that's where you're gonna be doing the bridging from. And I'll show you that here in a so now that we've got the base network in our MetaMask, the next thing is actually adding the Mavia token. So what's the best way to do that? So we can use the Etherscan by simply searching for Mavia. It's gonna bring up the token. Always good to double check this. We wanna make sure it looks right. Max supply, lots of holders, lots of transfers, awesome. Here's the contract ID. Now we're going to go back in the MetaMask. We're still on the base network, so it doesn't matter that we used Etherscan. You could have used base, bases one, two, but the contract ID is still the same. We're going to go to import token, custom token, paste the contract address. You can see it brings up Mavia. We're going to hit next. I already had some in my wallet, so now I'm going to import. Now I have the Mavia token. So you need to make sure you do this so you can see the Mavia that you transferred. Okay, so now that that's done, how do we get Mavia from ETH into base? So there's two main sites. I use Stargate all the time for the bridging. There's Aerodome Dome Finance. I like using this for swapping. So for example, you could just send ETH from ETH into base and then do the swap from ETH into Mavia using Aerodome, or you could just do Mavia to, to Mavia, kind of like you see here. So let's see, let's do this first. So we're gonna go from Ethereum. Make sure you obviously have your MetaMask wallet connected. Now it's important to note that the same wallet address that you're using the base network on is the same one you wanna transfer from your Ethereum. So for example, if I come over here, if I just switch, you can see I already have some Mavia token. I already have some ETH. It's the same wallet, but on the base network. So because it's an EVM wallet address, all I'm doing is taking it from my same address from ETH over to base. Okay, you don't want to have it in two separate wallets. It's important to note that. So first, let's select like Ethereum. We're saying base. Let's actually refresh the page here just to see if it, because this is good sometimes if it doesn't pull up your balance, just refresh the page. We're going to select Mavia from Ethereum to Mavia on base. Let's connect our wallet. Okay, so make sure your wallet's connected. What we're going to do here is we're transfer we're bridging Mavia on the Ethereum network to Mavia on the base network. So max, we're going to initiate the transfer. Wants me to switch networks first, so we're going back to the Ethereum network. Going to bring up the transaction details. We can see the estimated gas fee. We're going to confirm. And I'll show you guys a swap too. We're going to do Ethereum from ETH from Ethereum network over to ETH on the base network as well. Okay, you can see here it's going to take about four minutes and 25 seconds. And now I'm going to do Ethereum from the ETH network over to the base network. So we're going to hit max. I'm actually lower that a little bit. It's always good to keep some gas left. There we go. So let's send that over. Okay, so once the transaction's confirmed, you'll see it pop up here. 
Now what you can do is check your wallet, make sure you're switched back to the base mainnet. Go over to tokens. Ah, we can see we've got the Mavia and we've got the ETH. So now I wanna show you the swap. So Aerodome Finance is what I use for that. We're gonna use ETH and Mavia. Let's connect our wallet. It's gonna make me select it again, but that's okay. It's favorited it now at the top. We can say available ETH. We're gonna leave some for gas, just like always. Gonna give us some Mavia. Now we can swap. Nice low gas fee, right? That's what you gotta love about base. We're just gonna let this approve. A swap confirmed. ETH swap for Mavia. Looks like it's still pending. Give it a second. There it's confirmed. Now we've got our Mavia. I wanna play. Okay guys, it's that simple. I'm gonna have these links pinned in the comment below. Use Stargate for bridging. You can bridge ETH or Mavia. And then for swapping, I use Aerodome Finance. Hope this video was helpful. Uh, if you don't mind, please subscribe to the channel. If you appreciate our content, smash that like button. See y'all in the next video. Cheers.